according to Congressman Ted Lieu, uh, we should really be talking about the other guy on the ballot and um, not the current president, uh, President Joe Biden. So like Chairman Aguilar said, uh, we hear a lot from our constituents on different issues, but something I've heard that doesn't seem to be being covered are the Epstein files. These files were released and like Donald Trump sort of all over this, right? There are pictures of him with Jeffrey Epstein. He's taking multiple plane flights with Epstein with young girls on board. Uh, he is in call logs with Epstein. One of the highest trending hashtags on t Twitter right now is about Trump and Epstein. I'm not going to repeat the hashtag because we're in a dignified setting. But yeah, y'all might want to look at that because that's highly disturbing. And again, it shows that Donald Trump is unfit for office. And by the way, he was convicted in a civilian court for sexual assault, convicted in a separate court of 34 felonies. Donald Trump should drop out of the race. Since y'all want to talk about people dropping out, how about we talk about that? Look, let me just say this. And this has no reflection of anybody on this show because we don't condone hold this on, kind of stuff. Let me let me hold on. Let me put you on single screen while you say this. Oh, hold on. not not Ty. <laughs> Ty, Ty doesn't want Ty does <laughs> not want yeah. anything to hear that. All right, go ahead. Let me just say this. I hear what that guy is saying. I respect what he's saying, but America don't give a damn. <laughs> <laughs> they do not care. You can call this man a pedophile. You can say he molested these women and did all these things like this. He why he, don't they? Because they don't. We let our Kelly, we let our Kelly do it for decades. You think they, you think they finna stop our um, Donald Trump from doing it? They don't care. They do not care. So you they think his care. supporters are just too far? Too I far just gone. think his supporters don't give a damn. They don't care about so, this. So there's no chance. Okay, so Bill, there's. Do you do you agree? There's no chance that the Epstein trial Absolutely. can hurt Trump at this point. Donald Trump could literally walk outside and hang a man, and then, as he said, grab him out of. Then people's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. They win it. They don't get. Then people don't care. I, they are right behind him with their clan hoods, with with them. They don't it's care. just one of those things. It's just one of those things. Like it's not happening to them directly, so they can easily like look the other way and be like, I don't care. I mean, you think about it. Like these people in the Hollywood people, like they do stuff like this all the time. So it's just kind of like, oh, you know, part for the course. Even and not. When Diddy did all this stuff, whatever, all this stuff is coming out about Diddy. The first thing people start hollering is, I knew he was doing it. I knew it. Then all these people come out of the woodwork. These people don't care. They do not care. And it's a shame. You would think, you know. Yeah, I'm like this would, anything Donald Trump can do. Because, yeah, we're talking about, Ty, we're talking about an actual crime. Like, you know, something that's in deposition, legal documents, and it's not getting any attention but Biden's health and his cognitive abilities apparently is, is the problem. I mean, I think when we're dealing with Trump, we have someone whose people literally don't care what he does because either they choose not to believe it or their own interests um, outweigh whatever morals they have. I don't know, but I can't think of anything that Donald can do that would make him lose the It's work. like they found a way to win Republicans or they think they found a way to win and they don't think there's any other way for them to win outside of Trump. So they have to do whatever it takes to protect them. The reality is follow suit. The man has 34 felony convictions, 34 felony convictions and 11 bankruptcies. And they're and like, what? And look, and people be like, so do I. So do <laughs> I. I identify. It makes him relatable. Right. Noble Negro, shout out to you. Um, all right, awesome. Thanks, guys. Uh, that was the politics. Uh, I guess. <laughs> you sound so hurt. <laughs> oh, actually, Trump, he tried to change the subject a little bit. Um, when he was when he heard about this, this was tonight, literally a couple of hours ago. He talked about his next challenge for President Biden. I'm also officially challenging Cricket Joe to an 18 hole golf match right here. Under Al's Blue Monster, considered one of the greatest tournament golf courses anywhere in the world, one of the great courses of the world. It will be among the most watched sporting events in history, maybe bigger than the Ryder Cup or even the Masters. Um, that golf course has, is owned by Trump in case but you're Regardless of that, you see what I mean? Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, people in this country are dying. Inflation is kicking our butts left and right. But he mentions challenging Joe Biden to golf, and the people behind him clapped. For me, yeah. that's offensive. I mean, I wouldn't clap at that. Like, you're talking about golfing with this man 
and I am paying extra money for my ice at Chick-fil-A. Also, I assure you that one of the greatest golf courses in the world is called Pebble Beach in California. Not the one he's talking about. Doral. <laughs> nobody, play, nobody plays anything at Doral. We've never gone to Doral. It's never even been on the list to want to go. And lay off the tan because, like, good God. Good God. Um, Doral. We wish. Please. Around the- it was and you think it's going to be one of the most watched sporting events of all time? Bigger, bigger right? than the Masters. That, sir. But I, don't think, but I don't even think you should dignify that with like comments because that's what he wants. Like, let's focus on what's, what's actually going on here. Nothing. You were distracting from this. This is that's a- all he's doing. That's all he's doing. You was on that dossier. You was on Epstein's Island. Give us, mm-hmm. tell us about that. Hmm. <laughs> Never. How was the landscape on Epstein's Island? Like, how was the food? Let's talk about that. That's the, the right. That's, That's why I come from Canada because there ain't no way I wouldn't be asking the questions. I'm a journalist. And so you would say it for the debate stage? If I was on that debate stage and I was Joe Biden, I would say, let's discuss the landscaping at Epstein Island where you were. Hmm. Were you not there? And how many times were you there? Did your why? wife know? Because we know you cheated on your wife while she was pregnant. Did you go to Epstein Island while your wife was pregnant? Because we know what you tend to do. This, see, this is why I couldn't. This, that's, that's right. Because I'd be, I'd be a call cool. before the next debate. Because I'm gonna write some stuff for you. I got you. I'm you don't win the debate. You fool around with me. You, you win the debate. <laughs> and who win? Stuff. 